Now, Raymond, if somebody was looking to grow some clematis in containers, what's the sort of thing we should do? Well, I think, David, there are a few, a few basic rules. Um, I think, number one, clematis like uh, plenty of water, uh, but they also like very good drainage. So when you're selecting a container, uh, very important. Here we have a, a preformed sort of plastic type container. We're just using this now as a demonstration. Uh, but what I would say is don't use a plastic pot. Uh, if you're going to grow clematis out on a deck garden or a patio area, the plastic pots have no insulation. They'll heat up too much in the summer uh, will not give any insulation to the container. So a during... ceramic pot, a wooden tub, yeah. something that is insulation? A ceramic a pot or, uh, is, 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 is really good, a container must have really good drainage holes in, that's very important. A terracotta pot works very well indeed, or a half barrel, what, whatever, but not, not, a, not a thin wall container. And drainage holes in the bottom are absolutely vital. Yeah. And, and David, to assist with drainage in, in the bottom of the hole, I like to use some pebbles like, like this, and you put them really about an inch and a half, even two inches of, of pebbles in the bottom of, of, of the container uh, is vital. But, David, before you start doing any of that work, very, very important, you bought your lovely clematis from the nursery, from the garden centre, and you place the whole pot in a bucket of water for 20 minutes. And that means that the root system of the clematis will soak up all the water there because if you plant it in a container like this and the root ball is dry it may not look dry but if it is dry then unfortunately um, the, the, the plant will you'll never get that root ball wet, wet enough so okay. we, we put the pebbles in, in in the base there and then obviously importantly that you you get the, the plant out out of its container you've okay. got a really good strong root system there so we, we put some some soil and compost then on, on, on top of the of the pebbles um, so there, there we are, we've got a, a nice base and that can be just firmed in, 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 the, in the bottom um, and just making sure what we're wanting to do is to make sure that that root ball there uh, is placed in, in the container just to, is to remember that when you're planting a clematis in the ground in, in an open uh, soil situation or in a container like this I like to plant the, the clematis that extra two, two and a half inches deeper than what it was uh, when it was in its pot, in its nursery pot so very important that it's planted that little bit deeper because if the plant should succumb to maybe clematis wilt or any other uh, disease problem or it should be damaged by a, a mouse or something like that or severe winter damage then it's got a really basically like a perennial crown below soil level. So very Im important that uh, you, you plant the clematis that little bit deeper uh, when you're planting it in the container and firm that, that in and also what I like to do is to plant really some summer bedding plants or some perennials so you plant them here and let them just tip over the edges so you can use some perennials certainly but I really prefer using some of the summer bedding plants because that means that you can actually use a different color scheme each each year uh, and the, the, you can choose your color scheme to go and associate with the colors of, of the clematis. David, when, uh, when the plant is planted, of course, it, it's going to grow up a little taller than it is in its uh, nursery support, in its uh, bamboo trellis. So you really need to put a, a nice support in, and I'm using this metal support. And I'm not bothering actually to take away the, the wooden trellis uh, uh, that the plant grew in the nursery. I'm making sure that this is uh, f firmly placed in the container. And then I will tie uh, the bamboo trellis to the metal support that will make sure that it's it's really solid and held very tightly and not whizzing around in the, in the wind. And then the clematis can grow up and flower dur during the summer. And then, of course, when the plant is going to be taken into a, a garage or an outbuilding during the, the winter months to protect it from the very severe cold, uh, the plant can go in exactly like this it will be dying down the leaves will be dying down and then when you get to the spring what you can do is you can take them the metal trellis totally out again and then you will remove the um, uh, the, the bamboo trellis and obviously the clematis needs to be pruned hard. This is Diana's Delight, so one of the single flowered ones. So you chop the clematis down six to nine inches above this soil level. That will encourage it to become really bushy from its base uh, and it'll still produce plenty of flower because these clematis have been bred and designed to flower both on the old and the current seasons wood. And at that point you're taking away the, the, the bamboo trellis and then you can put the permanent trellis back into the container um, and really enjoy the clematis uh, uh, year after year.
No, what about watering? Okay, obviously this is just in now, it's got to have, it's had it soaked for 20 minutes. Yes, well absolutely, and David, I think you would use a watering can full, a whole can full like that after you planted a new clematis in a container this size, because that will uh, make sure that the compost is, is really wet. And then, depending on how much rain there is, uh, then you certainly would need to use uh, probably two canfuls at least of, of water like that per week. And that's the nice thing about having good drainage in the bottom of the container and plenty of gravel because then you really can water them well and it'll drain down. That's the true. And so people should be able to really enjoy growing clematis in containers for really for, for many, many years. But minimum uh, diameter of the container should be, minimum should be 18 inches. Uh, and the depth also 18 inches. That's very, very important. And I think it's very important to have an open uh, container like this, an open top as I would call it, uh, because after maybe four years, maybe five years, this plant is going to really have exhausted its compost and will need to be upgraded into a larger container. But as I've said, David, this is a plastic container, so we planted it in this, it will be then lifted into its permanent outer container, which is insulated and will give the clematis a cool roof run. It's a very interesting thought, and uh, I was thinking that someone has a roof garden, a town garden, a balcony, something like that, they could have a wooden trough or a wooden box or something and just take the whole thing and pop it right ab in ab there. Absolutely, and yeah. so if you had a wooden trough then you could plant, uh, have several of these pots put in alongside each other and that would be tremendously effective. And in a city and town garden important because then you've got nice screening. Yes, absolutely. You know, just to break yeah. up the yeah. view of other windows and buildings. Yeah. In the and so we have, I think, what you call it vertical gardening, David. We have indeed, and thank you for showing us how okay. to grow plants in containers.